binary star systems in our part of the galaxy may be common. Via data collected by the GIA spacecraft, researchers were able to determine at least 1.3 million binary star systems within 3,000 light years from Earth. Evidence of oceans can be found all over our solar system. Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, Enceladus, along with other worlds are thought to have underwater seas or oceans. Over time, the Moon has used our planet's rotational energy to move into a higher orbit farther from Earth. This slowed the Earth's rotation, resulting in slightly longer days. Our star releases charged particles called solar winds, which travel far past Pluto before being impeded by the interstellar medium. This forms a massive bubble around the solar system known as the Aliosphere. One of its qualities are that it serves as a giant shield, protecting the planets from galactic cosmic radiation. Its underground ocean contains more water than all the oceans on Earth. Most of the elements in your body were created in stars, while many other elements of you were the result of supernovas. Population 3 stars are composed of primordial gases, hydrogen, helium, lithium, etc., from the Big Bang instead of other stars, making them the first generation of stars. These stars would then also produce metals located in population 2 stars. Although this concept is hypothetical, astronomers in early 2023 claim to have finally obtained images of these type of stars. Via high-resolution spectrometer data from ESA's Venus Express spacecraft, it discovered a cold layer high in Venus's atmosphere that may be frigid enough to freeze carbon dioxide into ice or snow. The temperatures recorded were around negative 283 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 175 degrees Celsius. Our moon's shape is more distorted than it appears. Its spin along with tidal tugs from our planet have caused it to be more lemon-shaped than a perfect sphere. Without enough gravity force to tug downward, water in the free-fall environment of space forms spheres. Surface tension among the tight-knit group of water molecules up there turn water into this shape, as it occupies the least amount of surface area. Mars has an orange-reddish color because its soil and rocks have iron oxide or rust particles in them. The sky on Mars tends to appear pink or orange because wind picks up the dust lying on the soil into Mars's thin atmosphere. Powered by the solidification of our planet's liquid iron core, the Earth's magnetic field protects us from cosmic radiation, along with the charged particles emitted from our star. Jupiter II may be the smallest moon in our solar system. It is only a little bigger than 1.2 miles, a little over 2 kilometers across. The most acidic rain in the solar system is located on Venus, where it rains sulfuric acid. However, Venus is so hot that the sulfuric acid evaporates before it reaches the surface. Black holes may have multiple outflows and eject remnants of stars the eight years after tidal disruption events. Traditionally, astronomers stop looking for outflows months after TDE and no detections. However, astrophysics event SENS ran a study where 10 out of the 24 black holes they observed ejected star materials two to six years after TDEs. Although a definitive answer for remnant ejection years later is still unknown, the fading and brightening of radio detections from black holes after TDEs prove outflows can happen more than just once. With over 85,000 volcanoes, Venus has the most volcanoes out of every planet in our solar system. The vacuum of space has no air. Because sound is vibrating air, space lacks the elements needed to create sound. Our sun mainly loses mass by a nuclear fusion in its core. Fusion is changing hydrogen to helium, while the hydrogen used weighs slightly more than the helium produced. This energy comes out to be what we see as light. We can see the moon in the day for the same reason we see it at night. It is reflecting light from the sun, and its closeness to Earth makes it brighter than the day or nighttime sky. After our star, the moon is the brightest object we can see. Our planet undergoes a motion called precession, which is due to tidal forces caused by gravitational influences of our sun and moon. This causes Earth to wobble slightly upon its rotational axis, which will result in the North Star Polaris being switched to Vega in around 12,000 years. If you flew a Boeing 747 around 600 miles per hour to the moon, it would take around two weeks or 17 days to reach. Jupiter's magnetosphere is one of, if not the largest thing in our solar system. If we could see its wavelengths, they would appear two to three times the size of the sun or moon from Earth. 
Venus is a moon of Saturn that orbits within its rings. Although only 5 miles, 8 kilometers, across, its gravity is powerful enough to disrupt the tiny particles of the A ring that form the Keeler Gap's edge in Saturn's rings. Gliese 436b is an exoplanet with hot ice, although its surface temperature is much higher than the boiling point of water. Many scientists concur that ice on this planet keeps its solid state due to the immense gravitational force pulling from the planet's core. The gravitational force increases with depth, preventing water from evaporating as it does on our world. Of all the meteorites that have been discovered on Earth, at least 175 have originated from the red planet. Most likely sent to Earth via an asteroid or comet crashing into Mars, the red planet's gravity is around one-third as strong as Earth's, along with its atmosphere around 125 times thinner. These conditions make it easier for a Martian rock to propel into space and get caught in our star's orbit before crash landing into Earth as meteorites. Tidal tails are due to gravitational interactions between two or more galaxies. During galactical interactions, some gases and stars are stripped from the outer regions of galaxies, resulting in the creation of trailing and even preceding tidal tails in certain instances. These tails tend to be, if not the biggest indication of galactical amalgamation when exploring the cosmos. The balances of the forces of gravity, along with higher heat and pressure within the inner parts of our star, are the reasons why our sun does not collapse under its own gravity. In further detail, the atoms within the central region of our star move faster than the atoms in the outer regions. Due to this, the central atoms push outwards with more force, while the outer atoms exert less pressure. This balance keeps our star stable enough to avoid gravitational collapse. Sagittarius B2 is a giant dust cloud in the center of the Milky Way. It contains methanol, ethanol, along with other chemicals. In 2009, astronomers at the IRAM telescope in Spain found out that this dust cloud contains ethyl formate, which smells like booze and tastes like raspberries. Many astronauts claim that they smell seared steak when they step back into their space station and remove their helmets. According to chemist Stephen Pierce, the tasty smell may be due to high energy vibrations of ions. Other scientists believe that this smell is caused from oxidation during spacecraft repressurization. Dying stars are another possibility, as they release polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons that travel all through space, and could create the smell when interacting with the air in the space station. Located on Mars, Various Mariners is the biggest canyon in our solar system. It is 2,485 miles long, 124 miles wide, and 6 miles deep. In our star's core, it produces around the same energy as 15 billion thermonuclear bombs each second. Jupiter's magnetosphere extends out to nearly 3 million miles, 5 million kilometers, wide, along with being 150 times wider than the planet itself. It is also 15 times larger than the Sun, making it one of the largest structures in our solar system. Just as black holes consume things, white holes spit them out. However, white holes most likely do not exist since their fundamentals go against the second law of thermodynamics. Jupiter can fit into our star 1,000 times. Whenever we observe a planet, star, or galaxy, we are seeing it as it was minutes, centuries, or even millennia ago. This is because light travels at a finite speed, and given the large distances in the universe, we do not see objects as they are now, but as they were in the past. Uranus is the only planet whose equator is nearly at a right angle to its orbit, with a tilt of 97.77 degrees. Its weird positioning may have been due to an Earth-sized object colliding into it long ago. Galactic cannibalism is when a larger galaxy, via gravitational interactions, mergers with a smaller one resulting in the creation of a bigger galaxy. It takes our solar system around 230 million years to complete one orbit around the galactic center. In general relativity, a white hole is a hypothetical region of space-time and singularity that cannot be entered from the outside, although energy matter, light and information can escape from it. Essentially, it is opposite from a black hole, which energy matter, light and information cannot escape. Neptune completes its orbit around our star every 165 years. Its next completed orbit would be in the year 2176. Our sun contains 99.86% of all the mass in our solar system. 
Our star is so large that it could fit 1.3 million Earths inside of it. Based on statistical models produced by ESA's Space Debris Office, it is estimated that there are 36,500 objects larger than 10 centimeters, 1 million objects between 1 to 10 centimeters, and 130 million objects between 1 millimeter to 1 centimeter, all orbiting Earth. Most of the stars you see in the night sky are bigger and brighter than our sun. Weight varies due to different amounts of gravitational pressure, whereas mass stays the same. If you are able to visit other worlds, your weight could increase or decrease, whereas your mass will never alter. Pluto is around 1,400 miles wide. That is about half the width of the United States, along with two-thirds the width of our moon. Io is the most volcanically active world in our solar system. This is due to the constant pressure of Jupiter's gravity along with gravitational pulls from Europa and Ganymede. Due to its tremendous density, a teaspoon of a neutron star would weigh 10 million tons. The James Webb Space Telescope is a telescope designed to conduct infrared astronomy. It currently orbits the Sun a million miles away from Earth at second Lagrange point. Gamma ray bursts are the most energetic and luminous electromagnetic events we've observed in our universe. They can release more energy in 10 seconds than our sun will emit in its lifetime. Mercury on average is the closest planet to Earth. Although it never gets close to Earth like Mars or Venus, it doesn't stray as far as those planets when comparing entire orbits to the distance from Earth. Since planets lack enough nuclear fusion, they cannot produce their own light. The light you see from planets in the night sky is actually the light reflected from our sun. Ceres, a dwarf planet located in our asteroid belt, may have water sitting beneath its surface. NASA's Dawn Orbiter from 2015 to 2018 discovered evidence of water seeping onto the surface, suggesting a sub-ocean or bigger body of water beneath its surface. Our moon is the fifth largest moon in our solar system. Neutron stars are one of, if not the densest objects in the universe. They are around 12 miles in diameter, but are denser than our sun, which is 72,000 times bigger than a neutron star. In 2009, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter recorded a temperature of negative 410 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 250 degrees Celsius, on the floor of the moon's Hermite crater. Till this day, this is the coldest temperature on a celestial body in our solar system. Rogue black holes are not bound to any stars and drift along through space. They tend to have smaller accretion disks and appear darker, making them more complex to find. However, their immense gravity distorts spacetime, serving as a signal when they pass in front of a visible star through a powerful telescope's point of view. They either occur when two galaxies collide or when the merging of two black holes becomes disrupted. Orbiting Jupiter, the biggest moon in our solar system is Ganymede. Its radius is 1,635 miles along with being larger than Pluto and Mercury. The baseline temperature of outer space is 2.7 kelvins, which is 454.81 degrees Fahrenheit or 270.45 degrees Celsius. This is close to absolute zero, which all molecular motion ceases. The baseline temperature of outer space is 2.7 kelvins, which is negative 454.81 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 270.45 degrees Celsius. This is close to absolute zero, which all molecular motion ceases. Mercury and Venus are the only planets in our solar system that do not have moons. KELT 9b is one of, if not the hottest exoplanet discovered. It has a surface temperature of 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit being hotter than some stars. It is so hot on its day side that it tears hydrogen molecules apart. Located at the border of the southern constellations Indus and Tucana, 3.8 billion light years away from Earth, lies one of the brightest supernovas discovered named Assassin 15 LH. At its peak, this supernova was 570 billion times brighter than the Sun, as well as 20 times brighter than the combined light emitted by the Milky Way galaxy. Although some scientists believe its brightness was caused from a magnetar's gyrating magnetic field, an unambiguous answer toward its brightness, along with its reason for going supernova still haven't been proven.
The highest mountain and volcano in our solar system is Olympus Mons on Mars. It is 16 miles high, 374 miles in diameter, and covers an area around 120,000 square miles. Located in another galaxy in the constellation Draco, a supernova called SN 2016 APS was one of slash if not the brightest supernova ever seen. In typical supernovas, radiation and visible light makes up 1% of the total explosion energy of 10 to the power of 51 Earth. However, SN 2016 APS explosion energy was 10 to the power of 52 Earth, along with radiating around 50% of its energy, resulting in outshining a regular supernova up to 500 times. Its brightness and energy output led some scientists to hypothesize that it may have formed via the merging of two massive stars prior to explosion. Its progenitor or progenitor stars has to be at least 100 times the mass of our Sun. Although Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system in terms of mass, its density is last compared to the planets in our solar system. It is so light that it could float in water if there was a body big enough. Estimates suggest that there are around 20 billion sun-like stars along with 6 billion Earth-like planets just in our galaxy alone. Rogue stars are not gravitationally connected to any galaxy. A lot of scientists believe that these stars originated in galaxies, but were expelled due to a collision of galaxies or from traveling too close to a supermassive black hole in a multiple star system. Clouds of intergalactic hydrogen gas are also a possibility scientists believe could have created some of these stars. In 2015, Vanderbilt astronomers reported to identify more than 675 rogue stars between our galaxy and Andromeda. Scientists at MIT, Cardiff, along with other places have detected phosphine in the atmosphere of Venus. Although these findings are heavily debated, some scientists believe that this is evidence of microbial life on a nearby world. Located in the constellation Sagittarius, the Wolfrayet star, WR102, is currently the hottest star discovered, with a temperature of 210,000 Kelvin or 377,540 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite its high temperatures, scientists believe this star has less than 2,000 years to live before it goes supernova. Located in the constellation Vela, Dennis P is a substellar object which mass equates to 28.5 Jupiters. It is currently one of the largest planets ever found. In 1006 AD, a supernova called SN1006 was seen around most of the world for two and a half years before fading away. Located in the constellation Lupus, nowadays we can observe the remnants of the explosion via the nebulous bubble it created surrounding the site of this ancient explosion. Rouge planets are interstellar objects of planetary mass that are not gravitationally connected to any stars. These planets tend to float astray due to unstable gravitational interaction between them and another planet or planets, resulting in ejection from their solar system. HD 100546b may be the largest planet ever discovered. It's so large that it's seven times the radius of Jupiter along with being similar in size to its own star. Despite its size, many scientists and astronomers argue on its mass, along with its classification as a planet or brown dwarf. Some scientists even believe that it's a combination of both. We may have discovered the transformation of planets into super-Earths. In recent studies, astronomers have used NASA's Hubble Space Telescope along with W.M. Keck Observatory in Hawaii to study planets referred to as mini-Neptunes. The results showed that the radiation from the stars of the many Neptunes were stripping away their puffy atmospheres. In turn, this caused the hot gases of some of the many Neptunes to escape, possibly resulting in the creations of super-Earths. Orbiting the star GSE 02620-00648 in the constellation Hercules, Trace 4b is the largest planet discovered to date. It is around 1.7 times the size of Jupiter. Orbiting a red dwarf star, Oroxus 42b is the largest planet so far discovered. Its radius is 1.12 times that of Jupiter with a mass of 9 Jupiters. Andromeda will eventually merge with the Milky Way in around 5 billion years. Our galaxy's spiral arms will disappear along with our black hole in the center of our galaxy being replaced by Andromeda's black hole, 
which has the mass of 100 million suns compared to the mass of 4 million suns our black hole in the center has. The cold death of the universe is a theory that as our universe continues to expand, it would eventually cool down to the point that it will become too cold to sustain any life. The Boomerang Nebula is one of the coldest places in the galaxy. It is expelling mass which is projected outwards and rapidly expanding causing it to cool down to the point that it's colder than the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. Our universe contains around 70 septillion stars. Astronomers estimate that there are 10,000 stars for each grain of sand on Earth. Physicist Roger Penrose believes that the universe undergoes an infinite cycle of expansion and contraction, resulting in each cycle creating a Big Bang along with a new universe. There is a giant cloud of alcohol in space located in region W3, OH, around 6,500 light years away from us. However, it is made out of methyl alcohol, wood alcohol, making it toxic to drink. The James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope which specializes in infrared astronomy. Its high resolution and high sensitivity instruments allow it to capture objects too old, distant, or faint for the Hubble telescope. Supernovas can outshine their galaxy for a brief moment to a few days or months. Although uncommon in our galaxy, scientists observe a few hundred per year outside our galaxy. In 2018, the Hubble Space Telescope spotted a supernova named SN2018 GV in Galaxy NGC 2525. It was a Type IA supernova that outshined its galaxy for a brief amount of time. Time near a black hole would move slower compared to time on Earth. One year near a black hole can equate to 80 years on Earth as seen in the movie Interstellar. Theoretically, if we develop the technology, we maybe could use black holes as a way to travel into the future. The deepest man-made hole is the Kola Superdeep Borehole. Located in Russia, its depth reaches 40,229 feet. It is even deeper than the Mariana Trench, which depth reaches 36,201 feet. There are at least 800 billion to 3.2 trillion planets along with around 100,000 million stars in our galaxy. In our observable universe, there are between 100 and 200 billion galaxies.